Now let us discuss about signed and unsigned binary number representation. We can represent a binary number in two ways. The first way is uh, using signed representation. Second way is using unsigned representation. First let us see what is unsigned binary number. Unsigned binary number. So unsigned binary number means the name itself specifies the meaning. Unsigned means there is no sign. If there is no sign, then the default sign is positive. So unsigned binary numbers are always useful for representing positive numbers. Why? Because unsigned means no sign. If there is no sign, then the default sign is positive. Unsigned binary number doesn't have any sign bit. So no sign bit. It contains only magnitude. It contains only magnitude. Magnitude means the number, the bits for representing the corresponding number. Whereas, let's see what is a signed binary number. So signed binary number. So signed binary number means we will have a sign before the binary number. So it may be either positive number or negative number. So by using signed representation, we can represent both positive as well as negative numbers. So we can represent both positive and negative numbers. So here signed binary number is made up of two parts. The first two part is sign bit. The second part is magnitude. The first two part is sign bit and the second part is magnitude. So sign bit specifies whether the number is positive number or negative number. Various magnitude represents the bits, the binary number. Okay. So first let us see about unsigned binary number. So after that uh, we are going to discuss about uh, signed binary number. So first let us see about unsigned binary number representation. Unsigned binary number representation. Unsigned binary number representation. So what is unsigned binary number? There is no sign. Unsigned means there is no sign. So that means it is useful for representing only positive numbers. Okay. So let us assume that uh, let n is equal to 3. So number of bits are 3. So then how many numbers we can represent? So number of bits 3 means it is octal notation. Already we have seen about number system. Octal notation. So octal notation means 1 to 4 notation. So here unsigned means there is no sign. All the bits represents the magnitude. So here all the three bits represents the magnitude. There is no sign. Why? Because the default sign here is positive only. So 0 means all zeros. So 1 means double zero 01. So 2 means 0 010. Zero. 3 means 0 011. One, one. 4 means 100. So 5 means 101. One. 6 means 110. One, 7 means all ones. So this is nothing but unsigned binary number representation. So if there are n, if, if n value is 3, then how many numbers that we can represent from 0 to 7. So the range of unsigned binary number representation is 0 to 7. What is 7 here in terms of 3? So 7 means we can write as 2 power 3 minus 1. Why? Because here the number of bits are 3. So 0 to 2 power 3 minus 1. So 2 power 3 means 8. 8 minus 1 means 7. So we can say that the range of unsigned binary numbers is 0 to 2 power n minus 1. Where n represents number of bits. Here the number of bits are 3 bits. Suppose if n value is 4. If number of bits are 4. Then the range is 0 to 2 power 4 minus 1. So 2 power 4 means 16. 16 minus 1 means 15. So the minimum number is 0. Whereas the maximum number is 15. Suppose if n value is 8. Then 0 to 2 power 8 minus 1. 2 power 8 means 256. 256 minus 1 means 255. So from 0 to 255 we can represent. Suppose if n value is 16, 
if number of bits are 16 then 0 to 2 power 16 minus 1 2 power 16 means 65,536 65,536 minus 1 means 65,535 so this is the range when n is equal to 16 so here the formula for the range of the unsigned binary number is 0 to 2 power n minus 1 so this is about unsigned binary number representation so what is the problem with unsigned binary number representation we can represent only positive numbers we can't represent negative numbers with the help of the unsigned representation so there we have to use the signed binary numbers so signed binary numbers let us see the second way of representing the binary numbers signed binary number representation so signed binary number means we will have the sign so before the binary number so it is useful in order to represent both positive as well as negative numbers we can represent positive binary numbers as well as negative binary numbers uh, here signed binary number means it is made up of two parts the first part is the first part is sign bit uh, that we will see in the uh, representation uh, here the negative numbers are represented in three ways so signed binary numbers so how we can represent the sign in order to represent the sign we use as three approaches we use as three approaches signed binary numbers are represented in three ways the first way is sign magnitude representation sign magnitude representation second way is once complement representation once complement or we can write the one single quotation yes once complement representation third way is twos twos complement representation so twos complement representation so here the point is we can represent signed binary numbers in three ways the first approach is sign magnitude representation second approach is once complement representation third approach is twos complement representation so first let's see the first representation what is the first representation sign magnitude notation sign magnitude representation sign magnitude representation so the name itself specifies the meaning here the first bit is sign bit let we have a binary number like this the first bit is called as the sign bit so this bit is nothing but sign bit okay uh, so this is nothing but msb most significant bit let this position is b n minus 2 whereas the remaining bits b n minus 1 so on 1 bit 0 bit so all this specifies magnitude so n minus 1 bits so let we have n bits then the first bit represents sign bit so this is nothing but most significant bit the most significant represents sign bit here we have two types of sign the first one is 0 the second one is 1 0 means it is a positive number whereas 1 means it is a negative number so 0 means positive number 1 means negative number so the remaining n minus 1 bits the remaining n minus 1 bit specifies the magnitude so out of n bits only n minus 1 bit specifies the magnitude whereas the first bit specifies the sign position sign bit okay uh, if there are n bits so first bit is sign remaining n, bit, n minus 1 bits are magnitude now let us take with the help of the example so that we will get the perfect clarity uh, so let uh, let n is equal to 4 so number of bits are 4 so out of 4 bits the first bit specifies sign bit whereas the remaining 3 bits specifies magnitude so let the number is 0 plus 0 so plus 0 means 0 so plus means 0 sign bit is 0 whereas for 4 uh, for 0 here we are using some octal notation so all zeros 0 next plus 1 means so plus means 0 so 1 means 0 0 1 so plus 2 means plus means 0 2 means 0 1 0 likewise plus 7 means sign bit is 0 whereas how to represent 7 3 ones so here number of bits are 4 so out of 4 bits the first bit represents the sign bit whereas the remaining 3 bits specifies the magnitude 
So zero is the number, one is the decimal number, two is the decimal number, likewise seven is the decimal number. Likewise, if you take minus zero, for minus, what is the sign bit? One is the sign bit. So one is the sign bit. How to represent zero? Triple zero. Next, how to represent minus one? For minus, one is the sign bit. Next, zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one is nothing but magnitude. So for minus two, so minus means one is the sign bit. So magnitude means zero, one, zero. So on, what is the last number? Minus seven. So for minus seven, one is the sign bit. Whereas what is the magnitude? Triple one is the magnitude. So the range of the range of sign magnitude representation is what is the minimum number? Minus seven to what is the maximum number? Plus seven. So minus seven to plus seven. Here number of bits are four. Number of bits are four. So how to get minus seven from four? So very very simple. Minus two power four minus one minus one. So minus two power four minus one means minus two power three. Minus two power three means eight. Minus eight minus minus eight. Okay. So two power n minus one. Two power three means eight. Eight minus one means seven. So minus seven two. So how to represent seven? So plus plus is the symbol by default. Plus is the symbol. Plus two power n minus one minus one. So two power four minus one means two power three. So two power three means eight. Eight minus one means seven. So minus two power n minus one two. Minus two power n minus one minus one two. Minus one two. What is the range? Two power n minus one. So before this we can use plus minus one. So this is the range of sign magnitude representation or ones complement representation or twos complement representation. Why? Because uh, here uh, here the first bit is what in all the representations, either sign magnitude or ones complement or twos complement in all the representations. The first bit is sign bit, whereas the remaining n by n minus one bit represents the magnitude. So the range of the sign bit qualifier, the range of the sign binary number is minus two power n minus one minus one to two power n minus one minus one. Whereas the range of unsigned binary number is zero to two power n minus one. So this is about uh, sign magnitude representation. So sign magnitude representation means simply the first bit is sign bits, whereas the remaining bits are magnitude. Now let us see about ones complement. So ones complement representation. So ones complement representation. So ones complement representation. So here we can represent both positive numbers or negative numbers also. So positive numbers means simply we have to use signed magnitude representation. So already we have seen this one. So sign magnitude representation. Whereas negative numbers means we have to use ones complement representation. Okay. So let the number is minus five. So this is a negative number. So we have to represent this number in ones complement representation. How to represent plus five? In binary notation, let number of bits are four. Let n is equal to four. So how to represent four? Zero one zero one. Zero one zero one. Okay, four plus one is equal to five. Uh, next minus, we have to represent minus five. For that we are using ones complement representation. Ones complement representation means zeros are converted to ones. Ones are converted to zeros. So zero will be converted to one. One will be converted to zero. This zero will be converted to one. This one will be converted to zero. Here, the first bit, that is the most significant bit, is called as the sign bit. So, sign bit here. What is the sign bit? One. So, one specifies that this is a negative number. So, we are representing negative number. Whereas the remaining three bits specifies magnitude. So, here zero one zero means it is minus five. It is not minus four two. It is not minus two representation. Okay. So four to one means generally it is what two, but minus five means this is ones complement notation. So in ones complement notation, minus five means one zero one zero. Okay. Uh, likewise, let us represent plus four. So plus four means it is a positive number. Positive number means we have to use the sign magnitude representation. So what is sign magnitude representation? The first bit is sign bit. So here, what is the sign bit plus? 
So plus means it is 0. How to represent 4 in binary notation? Simply we require 3 bits. So 4 to 1 notation. So 1 double 0. So 0 1 double 0 is nothing but the binary number for plus 4. In one's complement notation. Let us represent minus 4. So minus 4 means it is a negative number. So negative number means we have to use the one's complement notation. So for that purpose first we have to represent plus 4. How to represent plus 4? 0 1 double 0. So now we have to calculate minus 4 using 1's complement. So zeros are converted to 1's, 1's are converted to zeros. So 1 0 double 1. So this is the binary number. Okay. So minus 4 in 1's complement notation is 1 0 1 1. Now let us see the third representation that is 2's complement notation. So here also we can represent positive numbers, negative numbers. Positive number means we use as sign magnitude notation sign magnitude representation whereas negative number means we use as two's complement notation we use as two's complement notation the formula for the two's complement is one's complement plus one one's complement plus one let us represent minus five so for minus five first we have to represent plus five so how to represent plus five zero one zero one next we need to calculate 2's complement. For the 2's complement, the formula is 1's complement plus 1. So 1's complement means 0 will be converted to 1, 1 will be converted to 0, 0 will be converted to 1, 1 will be converted to 0. 2's complement means simply we have to add 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1. Here the first bit is sine bit. So MSB is 1. So sine bit is 1. So it specifies that it is a negative number. So, minus 5 in 1's complement notation is 1, 0, 1, 1. Next, let us represent plus 4 in 2's complement notation. So, plus 4 means directly we use a sign magnitude representation. That is plus means 0, 4 means 1 double 0. So, minus 4 means we have to calculate the 1's complement. Why? Because here we are using 2's complement representation. 2's complement is equal to 1's complement plus 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1, 0 with a carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with a carry 1. 1, 1. So this 1 specifies that it is a negative number. Whereas the remaining bits are 1 double 0 is nothing but magnitude. So here also 1 specifies that it is a sign bit. Whereas the remaining bits are magnitude. Here the range of the uh, signed binary number is minus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. Whether it is a sign magnitude representation or 1's complement or 2's complement. So in all the notations the range is same. So this is about representation of binary numbers in signed and unsigned.